Hey guys, this is Mickey from CoinOpNewYork.com and we're here on December 15th, 2010 and we're right near Christmas. You can see my Christmas tree here. And what we're looking at is, is a uh, 1956 United Bowling Alley that has been refurbished for 40 hours and literally all the electromechanical parts in this machine have been gone over. All the score reel, step up unit, switches, relays, coin unit, ball lift motor, pin reset motor, and the belt that drives the ball lift motor have all been gone through. It's been serviced, it works correctly, plays 100%, and will play that way for many years to come. So let's talk about this bowler. We have another video that showed the restoration. Make sure you check out that other video and see the link. And what we wanna do is talk about what a ball bowler is. Well, it plays regulation bowling, just like if you go to a real bowling alley. This will be the centerpiece of your game room. One of these things, you have it in your house, everybody's gonna to wanna to come to your house for the party. You might have pinballs and other machines in your, uh, in your game room, but everybody knows how to bowl, an 80 year old and a three year old. This is an 11 foot, three inch ball model, okay? The balls are three inches and the machine is 11 feet long. It plays six players and it will keep uh, spares and strikes automatically, tally all your scores, keeps track of all your frames down here, keeps track of the 10th frame and gives you the extra shot if you do well, keeps track of all the players. If you put it on three players, the number three player will light up. As each player takes its turn, when player one's done, it'll go to two and three and four. And it also keeps track of the marks, strikes and spares for each person, so it scores great. So anyways, the cool thing about this machine is, is it's 11 feet long. You have to be accurate and bowl the ball. Most people when they bowl, they don't bowl with their shins right up against the front of the machine like this. Okay, they don't bowl that way. You're usually a couple feet back when you release the ball. So when you do that, you're no longer at 11 feet, you're more like 13 feet. You can even stand back a little farther and release it at 14 feet and roll the ball up there. So this machine is 11 feet long. So if you're gonna purchase or buy this machine, there's two things you need to be aware of. You need a 30 inch door opening. And then we bring this machine into your house and we go to take it down in the basement and we line it up with the door to go down, the machine has to have 11 feet of room, front to back, to line up in that doorway to get it down. So, all right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna play a three player game. My son is gonna uh, demonstrate and I'm gonna film. And we're gonna show you, we have this thing hooked up so it'll take dimes. And we also have our credit button down here. So we'll start with a dime and reset the machine. Okay machine is reset and we have it on one player and then instead of using dimes we're going to come down here and hit this button and hit one two so now we have it on three players and we're going to go ahead and bowl we're in the first frame go ahead okay see how when he bowled that, he was on the left side of the front pin, so he didn't get it. This, ball, this bowling machine is very accurate. There we go. Now, if he stays right on this head pin or just to the right of it, okay, he was a little too far right, so he just got the lead pin. Now we're on player three, still in the first frame. Ah, strike. So what did it do? It gave him a strike. See that? So he's holding the strike, and now we are in frame two. Okay. Got a strike on player two. Now we're going to player, I'm sorry, player one. Now we're in player two. Another strike. Okay. Okay. And we're gonna get down here and film a little, like right at the lane level. Okay, scoring the uh, frame. Now we're in the third frame, player one. Nice, strike. Let's see if he can pick this. Just missed it. You can get a gutter on this if you go against the wall there on the brown part. All right, now you wanna bowl this on the brown line on the right hand side, just like if you were gonna throw a strike, like you'd knock the three into the 10. Go ahead. Okay, he was to the right, so he didn't get it. All right, now we're gonna cut in front of here and we're gonna go on this side 
and get a little view of the pins, a little close action of the pins down here. And you can see we have all new lighting underneath there. Nice. Nice. Right on that line. The strike lines are these brown lines. You want to go right along these lines. Down the center will give you, give you a 710. And you say, well, how do, hey, Mickey, how do we pick a 710? Well, I'm going to show you. You have to, get, when you roll the ball down, it's got to go right in the middle of these two switches so they both go down together. And when you do that, you can't be on one or the other. They've got to go down together. If you happen to have the 710 up, it'll let you pick it, which is really, really cool. Okay, here we go. Here's a 710 right there. Let's see if he can pick it. He got it. Very nice. Right on cue. Perfect. Okay, so we're in the fifth frame here. Player two's up. He's at 35 pins, and he's holding a spare. Okay, got a strike, so now he's got 55. See that? Now we have player three up. Strike. He's going to hold the strike. He won't score it for two more balls. Player one is up to uh, 74. Okay. All right, let's pick up the pace. Very nice. Um, as far as the machine goes, it's ready right now. It's plug and play, 40 hours of mechanical restoration. Make sure you watch video one to see all the work that was done on it. We have the original feet over here that attach right here on the blue over here. It's all nice original cabinet with original graphics. Everything's been wiped down and cleaned up with mean green and wood cleaner. And this is one of the nicest original uh, 1956 United Bowling Alleys I've done. I've done about nine of these, and they're great machines. All right, Corey, hold this for a second. I'm going to turn off the upper light. Just keep it on the machine so we can see it in the dark and see how cool this is. <coughs> Okay, so we turn off the lights so you get a better view. Go ahead. And we're in the seventh frame and we're on player three. Nice. And we're into the eighth frame. Holding the spare. You got seven. Or no, you got nine on that, right? Or no, you got the uh, three left. Seven. Okay, and you got it. Keep her going. Nice strike. All right. All right, so if you want to buy this ball bowler and you want it for Christmas, you give me a call. My name is Mickey. I'm in Rochester, New York. My number is 585-747-0605. 585-747-0605. You can also check out my uh, website, coinopny.com, coinopnewyork.com. I restore vintage ball bowlers, jukeboxes, EM arcade machines, pinballs, and uh, we're going to finish up this bowler. Okay, now we are in the 10th frame. Go ahead, Corey, let her rip. And he got a strike. And you can see right here, it's controlling the 10th frame, so he's going to get extra shots. Nice. Two strikes in the 10th. He's at 166. If he strikes again, he'll have 196. Should be 195, I think. 93, okay. Very nice. Let's see if he can pick the spare up for the 10th frame. Missed it. Okay, and now we're in the last bowler holding two strikes in the 10th frame. Go for it. Okay. See if you can pick this. Just missed it. Okay, and it goes the game over. All right, guys, thanks for checking out my video. Remember, this is Mickey from CoinOpNewYork.com. I appreciate it. Give me a call. I'm in Rochester, 585-747-0605, and have a Merry Christmas. Thanks.